Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Sometimes one of the hardest things to do in college football is to stand your ground by keeping the ball on the ground. Over the last decade or so, we've seen an offensive explosion, much of it centered around the passing game. Sort of refreshing to see a team believe that it can win at the highest level by running the football in an old school kind of way. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Pacific Northwest. We're live at chaotic Outsum Stadium at the University of Oregon. And now let's head down to the coin toss. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Bryant is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 32. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Run to the left there. And he's taken down around the 36 yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. They come, and that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Green is waiting for the snap. Brought down at the 37-yard line. The Ducks always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Gets out to around the 38. tackled at about the 17 yard line the 10 touchdown ducks the PAT. 
A four-play, 63-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Gathered in at the six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Oregon's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game for yards. That makes it second and six. He's got an opening. Makes it out to about the 50. That's a game of 18. Man, left, man, left. That makes it first and 10. Hey, alert 48. Check, check. This go Raver. This go Raver. Slam, slam. And they get the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Nice run, and he's brought down. Dumps it complete over the middle. And down he goes at the 47. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Van, back to return it. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Oregon is up a score. Up the middle for a nice game. Right around the 28 yard line. That's a team injury on the play. That'll bring up third and two. And he's tackled after positive yardage. So the halfback picks up the first down there with a seven yard gain. I think that's the third time he's carried the ball in this drive. And I can imagine they'll keep giving it to this guy until the defense can figure out how to stop him. He takes off. They'll bring him down at right around the 48-yard line. Wright's the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night, Herbie. I mean, if you load the box and take away the run, he's going to go up on top. If you sit back in the zone, he'll kill you with his legs. I mean, he's a great player. Counter wrestled down behind the line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. There he goes. 
And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, Ducks. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Oregon is up by a touchdown. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And he's level at the 19. Pickup of about seven that time on the screenplay. Offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for most assistance. Third down conversions and red zone offense. And right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. Tackle made at the 13-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Play 13 of the current drive. Oregon up seven points. Now he's scrambling. Tackle right around the 10 yard line. Gaining three yards. That brings us third and 10. Larry, Larry. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Check. Let's go. He's got it out to his tight end, and he's taken down around the three-yard line. Fourth down, this isn't much more than an extra point. Oregon is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and he got it. to kick this one away. Caught at the eighth. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That makes it second and six. He makes his way to about the 38. Gain of eight on the play. 
First, First down. down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Smith gets seven yards on the play. Arizona State's going to use their first time out of the half here. They're about four yards away here on second down. The Ducks lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. And they'll run him again. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Forward to about the 49. That's good for gaining three yards. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, Mike, the 48. Right now. Slam check. I can look at it. Look at it. Slam, slam, slam. Quick strike to the receiver. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Man, that is a great call and a big gain, especially on an early down. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. Gets it out quickly, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 27-yard line. That'll make it 35. This is the ninth play of this drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out of him. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He scrambled. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. And the defense comes through. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Edwards gains about five yards on the play. Oregon's going to take their first time out of the half. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. Makes it to the 41. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Mike two, Mike two. Here we go. Black, black, black. Complete. He's got room. And down he goes at the 48. Game of seven yards. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Here's the tight end. Drops. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Lamb awaits the snap. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 34-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around.
He fights forward to about the 36. This is the time to open up your playbook and do something unpredictable. So I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish right here. It's second and eight. Ball on the 36. Flips it middle to the running back. He's tackled at about the 41. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He lets it fly. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. And that'll do it for the first half. Oregon's got a ten-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Davis from the six. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Midfield. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41 yard line. He makes it to the 38 yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Three down, three down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Easy, easy, easy. 19, 19. 19. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it third and three. And he tackles him hard at the 23 yard line. Gets out to about the 14-yard line. Gets 
to about the 11 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 11 yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 10 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Bring him down just outside the goal line. And he adds the extra point. So a nine-play, 64-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart up. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Howell takes it from the six. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The Ducks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He is drilled at the 27. with the extra point with a three play 74 yard drive and they put up seven points well Brad right now this offense is hot and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense so our score 17 7 the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off Davis from the five and he's tackled at the 33 So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Mike, Mike is 59, Mike is 59, Mike 
made around the 49 yard line. No game. That makes it fourth and eight. Wilson back deep to return. And down he goes at the 23. Oregon's game plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it brilliant. Well, they knew coming in that they'd have to be able to rely on running the football. So far, so good. We'll see how it plays out the rest of the second half. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. First and ten. He's at midfield. Caught. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. to go long and does. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. But well, he has the speed to stretch the defense and his hands are getting better every single game. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. From the seven. Tackle at the 28. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Well, we're over two minutes to go in the game. The offense has a chance here to secure the victory. All they have to do is pick up a first down, keep the clock moving, and be able to get out of here with a win. Oregon holds a field goal lead. He's on the run. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That gives him a total of 100 yards on his carry so far. I'm so impressed with the way he runs, and I've got to say, he might be my favorite at this point for the Heisman Trophy. Here's an opening. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. yardage on that run. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. Mike two, Mike two. Watch the draw. Watch the Patriot, Patriot. Watch the safety. He's taken down at the 25. Nailed 
knock him down for a loss. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. From the 30-yard line, second down. not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. Third down at a couple of miles here. Ball on the 33. Less than three minutes in the game. tailback on the screen brought down in the open field five maybe six on that screen pass and I thought this play was gonna go for more yards but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield it's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it he's looking for six defense stiffens on fourth down and the ball will change hands You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Slings it out there incomplete. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Quickly, and it's almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. They'll make the sack, and that'll be the second time that he found the quarterback today. This lineman can overpower anybody on the offensive line. He's the kind of player you have to redesign your blocking schemes around. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Just under two minutes in the game. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Van gets six yards on the play. Arizona State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Touchdown, Ducks. Oregon staff, they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, they know that when the chips are on the table, they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches, and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, gun tough. Texas Tech doing battle in love. It. Texas Tech leads it 7-3. In other action, bragging rights on the Brazos at stake as Baylor takes on Texas A&M. There's no love being lost between these two today. And for Ramsey, he has one touchdown pass. 
Texas A&M leads it 7 0. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Brian has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Sun Devils have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. The spike will stop the clock. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Steps up into the pocket, and they've got it. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Get to that quickly. And they push him out at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Five wide. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes around the 24-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Caught with room to work. They come out in a five wide set. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. That's good for him. That makes it second and six. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Touchdown, Sun Devils! Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. The draw within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. Brought down by the kicker. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Arizona State will take their final timeout. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. The 
Ducks know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.